for the same reason. I sure. Okay. Not a lot. You think the girl gassed her daddy up? I promise she did. <laughs> daddy, I know you know what? Briggs, right? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Human Oil Resource. I feel like the world is getting more crazier and crazier. People are getting bolder. Oh yeah. Like, okay, so we have an update on what happened to the Wisconsin high school. You know, the Baraboo High School where that father mm -hmm. rushed to the stage yeah. and he pushed a superintendent out of the way. But for yeah. people who don't know, here's the video for it. Okay. There he is. Oh, oh. Pushing. Whoa. Excuse me. Whoa, there. Where's, where's Brandon? Brandon? Look at his daughter. Get, so get, get away so from me, bro. No, no, no. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, no, no, no. hey, oh, hey, need to get, hey, 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 so there you have it. Okay. Okay. Let's let's just talk about what we already know. Okay. Okay. That father right there, his name is Matt Eddie, 49 years old. The girl with the nice little blonde hair. It was that's his daughter, redhead. Um, and then after the black guy over there, that's Superintendent Briggs. Mm-hmm. Briggs. Okay. okay. It's a good name. Um, that's what happened. The father went rush stage. Don't call him Eddie the Electric, or Eddie. What do you call it? Um, fast bender. <laughs> he rushed the stage, pushed him out of the way. Yeah. You know, I had a little, you know, a little brawl. Tussle. Uh, yeah, a little tussle, like, yo, let go, let go, all that stuff. And then eventually, you know, obviously he was, police came, and he got hit with uh, disorderly conduct. Yeah. Let's get that out of the way. Now, assumptions. Mm-hmm. What do you thought? Now, I thought the whole time uh, that Briggs did something nasty <laughs> or crazy to his daughter, the whole, like, I thought this, this father came in to defend his daughter, protect his daughter and all that. But that wasn't the case, apparently. No. And the thing is, though, okay, I'm going to put my suspicious button on. When I saw his daughter, the way she was acting, the first thing hit on my mind, I was like, what did you tell your dad? Yeah. What, you way too cool to see the movie. If my parent jumped up and did that and I don't know what's going on, I would have been like, well, I would have intervened. Yeah. I said, whoa, daddy, like, what are you doing with my superintendent? I would have blocked, intervened. Mm -hmm. She's kind not of like, Briggs. Not, not Briggs. Not, yeah. Not Mr. Nice Briggs. <laughs> yeah. um, I would I would have been like, I would have intervened. She didn't intervene. She's kind of like, oh, oh, oh. It's like, oh, okay, my bullshit caught up to me and you know the thing that was like so hilarious when he was saying yeah. that's my daughter mm -hmm. i don't want her by the way her yeah. to shake his hand so if you don't want her to shake his hand why don't you just say it to her don't shake that guy's hand when you go on stage she didn't even have the time well well apparently she didn't reach to that point to shake his hand apparently the police said it was all pre-planned so oh okay that's one oh, thing okay. and then after he starts shouting i don't want him to get the satisfaction of shaking my child's hand mm -hmm. right and the police was like you're still gonna get slapped with this disorderly conduct okay so simmer down simmer down and then after he was like no but like briggs you know i don't like that guy i know him and when they asked briggs do you really know this guy he's like let me just let me <laughs> let me gather myself yeah and then when they finally kind of see who the girl is he said yeah i don't know him but i know his daughter because she got expulsion, she got expelled. Suspended. Yeah. She basically has issues with the school. Mm -hmm. So she's that type of student. A troublemaker? Ooh. All right. I'm just saying the whole time I was like, yeah, something doesn't add up. Because yeah. I think a lot of people judged Briggs at the beginning. We're like, what did he do? I was one of them. Yeah. Yep. But then later on when things adding up, especially like this narrative he, he told at the beginning, like, I don't like this guy, da 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 da. I thought it was something huge, to be honest. But boy, oh boy, did we not find out the truth behind the story. And this we have to say when he was in the custody of the police. You can't knock off on the stage, man, in front of graduation. Like, you obviously know that's going to happen. No, yeah, for sure. I get that, but you obviously know that daughter's going to go on stage. She's going to interact with him. Yes. I don't want him to be able to shake her f***ing hand because he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't want him. And her. Yeah. And all the she in this district. I'm not aware of allegations where Dr. Gray, you know, anything to your daughter specifically. Yeah. No, it wasn't him specifically. Okay. She was expelled. Mm hmm For doing the same thing that was done to her. Mm hmm And nothing has happened to the previous people. Okay. And we haven't had the meeting anywhere. Okay. With, you know, the school board and an expulsion meeting. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, and expulsion meeting. Okay. When I brought up the fact. The, the same thing happened to her. That's it. Okay. Again, I didn't see what happened. You see that? So I know where yeah. What the physicality of it was. Was it like a body block? There was a lot of body block. Exactly. That's all it was. Was there pushing? Was there shoving? Was there still me and guys? Put his hands on me. Sure. Okay. No, no, no. Why? So this oh, guy. Oh my goodness! So this guy likes to lie, apparently. <laughs> Not only physical contact, he, he likes said, touching people. He, he, he also, touched me first. <laughs> how? How? 
And also he said his daughter got expelled, but the other people that was associated to it whatever she was expulsion, doing, yeah. they didn't get expelled. So no, something happened to her, mm-hmm. and I they these guys didn't catch backlash. Mm-hmm. She went ahead did the similar thing, and she caught a backlash. Okay, okay. okay. And he's saying um, in that meeting, the expulsion meeting, mm-hmm. what happened was is that I think Briggs was there, mm-hmm. and he rolled his eyes, and, and he it. said, "I didn't like that." So he was just focused on Briggs. So yeah, he, he didn't focus on his daughter and what she his, did. All and the people you, that are trying to get her expelled. I'm, yeah, expelled, yeah. Yeah, like, the thing is, I don't, well, I've never been expelled in my life, but I but I know how those meetings go. Mm-hmm. You have to have several students, se- several teachers there. Yeah. Okay? And even, like, you know, office officials, right? Mm-hmm. And it's it's a group of people. So, and then, but you have the ones that are actually writing down the expulsion, the reason towards it. And then you have other teachers there that are just there. He's just a superintendent. Like, yeah, he's just, you know, trying to kill some time and everything. <laughs> I was dragged into this one. You know what I mean? You know, the funniest, probably the thing is he was thinking about something else. I don't think he rolled his eyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but and he, the reality is this guy doesn't want to take any accountability on his action, his on daughter. his daughter's action. Um, that's that's where we are and look at you you're an embarrassed man like yeah. you're, you're not like you're getting questioned by cops for actions but you did have you done see how he lied i feel like he lied several times he said oh i don't like briggs i don't know me. him he doesn't know you and then he your goes, daughter's oh. wild and that's it you guys are a messy <laughs> bunch that's it a messy family a messy bunch do you think the girl gassed her daddy up i probably she did <laughs> daddy i don't you know what briggs right <laughs> Briggs was out here, you know, rolling his eyes, and I felt so offended. Uh. How about this, okay? How, how about the case of racism? Yeah. Do and you want to go there? Uh, yes, we could definitely go there, and it could be a, definitely a case of racism. Now, the thing is, um, aftermath. Mm-hmm. Apparently, okay, Eddie, Matt Eddie, who has two first names? Matt Eddie, okay, <laughs> he allegedly issued an apology okay. through his lawyer. Okay. Interesting. Where it's like, uh, but then again, Briggs said it, the damage is already done. Of course. You ruined the graduation ceremony for a lot of these students. And okay. his self-esteem. I hit you with the restraining <laughs> order. Okay. Yeah. Now you made me look very suspicious to a lot of families. Definitely. And so am I accepting these apologies? No. no. And I will sue you for defamation of defamation? character. Yes. He didn't sue. Yes. Sue him for defamation of character. I don't yeah. know if you can sue defamation. He didn't really yeah, you say ruined anything my about him. And, you know, I got pushed around and everything. Looked yeah. like a clown. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, what do you think about this story? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was an interesting story. I'm glad that there is. It went viral, guys, for a good reason. Yeah. Especially for Wisconsin. This is the second time you go to Wisconsin. Yeah, second time you go to Wisconsin. Yeah, what's happening there? What's going on over there? You know, the thing is, I feel like students today, they have the audacity to say anything that they want to say. Okay, you guys, on that note, please like and subscribe this video. (laughs) And bye. It's for free, so just subscribe. Okay, bye. (laughs)